then have to know all the animals you use. And we uh, we made a commitment that if you submit a baby, we will give you an answer, whatever the answer you want to know. And you need to know we are And um, the very good thing that uh, all the all the students there that are working for the project, uh, they they really love the work on it. At the beginning, they were really afraid because it was new that suddenly the order to come here becomes the citizens. Uh, but actually, it was shown to the people that uh, they have really good skills in the city and, and uh, it was a very good opportunity to show to the citizens that the administration uh, of Paris is a uh, is very good quality for the administration. Um, then there is the, the vote. Uh, so for the vote, we have to we are helping the people to do their campaign um, because uh, all the people who made, a, who made a product, who, who submitted the project and the project is uh, open to the vote, uh, they want uh, their project to be. So, they, um, so we, we suggest them some uh, ideas to do for campaigns. So for example, you can see that uh, we met some flyers and we set up the flyers so the people are just to write the name of their project, for example. So that's it, they just wrote my project on that one. And the rest is already done. They don't have to do anything, uh, anything else. And we can print it and we can uh, share it uh, online, or we can uh, give it to people in the street or also uh, put it on the, on the walls of the, of the city. That is perfectly all right. There are also videos, and of course, we do a lot of uh, meetings, public meetings, and uh, in order to, to share with the people the project and uh, also the people who, are, who submitted the project can take the, take the market. Uh, to talk and to explain the project. Uh, so the vote that I don't want to tell you, the next vote will be uh, in, the, in September. So it's, uh, it's uh, very soon. Um, you can vote online, so there is a website. And also, um, we do keep the vote on paper. Uh, so there is actually 21 votes. There is the vote for each district and the vote for the parishes here. Yeah. And the people can vote only for two PD. The parish one, and in one district where the link or where they work. What we saw last year, the 50% of the people, 60% uh, of the people is using a internet vote, so it was very encouraging. And the good thing is that using this way of voting, uh, a lot of young people are, yeah, are voting. For example, 50% of the voters online uh, were between uh, 20 and 30 years old. It was very easy. I don't know if it is an endemic that we necessarily require. We just ask the people to come that they are Parisian and they are Parisian resident. And we have only very few information. And we have, if you were online, you have to keep working up. And you also have to keep your address in your map and so forth. So, two figures about, uh, about 2015. <coughs> See, so many ideas, many by many people. Uh, a lot of people uh, went on the, on the website uh, and just uh, had many of the last weekend uh, of uh, uh, where it was possible to submit 90. Uh, there's 1,200 ideas who came on the website and uh, we were to this year to see that uh, every hour is, uh, the number was growing and growing. Uh, other figures. Um, just two slides. Uh, okay, just uh, so the, um, the open data uh, uh, project is uh, is uh, quite uh, new in Paris. It's only uh, since uh, two thousand nine. Uh, it came from the will of, uh, of uh, the mayor of Paris, and um, also there was there were a lot of people requesting the data, um, and these people were mainly people involved in, uh, in startup, and they were uh, really interested by uh, our data. Uh, so with uh, Open Data, we increased the transparency of uh, our institution, and it was a very good way to develop the connections with uh, with uh, the external environment. Um, to do uh, to do the whole process of uh, open data, 
we didn't want to do it on, on our side alone and uh, and just uh, throw the data to the face of the people. So we have organized different meetings with uh, with the community here interested by the by the data in order to really try to set up um, some good a good service about it. And, and also we we worked with them about the license. Uh, in France, there, there was one license, uh, which was uh, the state license, and it's really uh, liberal in a way that uh, these license, the state license, is giving the data, and then you can do whatever you want with. If you want to just get the data and sell it directly, it's possible. We didn't want that. We want that the spirit of the open source and open data uh, uh, remains. So we have created the first. Um, French uh, generic uh, license base uh, on open data, uh, open database license for uh, Wikipedia. So the goal of this uh, of this license is really that if you take the data from the city of Paris and you enrich the data just using our data, you it's mandatory to redistribute the data. Uh, if you add some intelligence and you use other people's data. So you don't have the, it's not mandatory anymore. So that means that if you have an economic model based on very specific uh, uh, enrichment, so we, you don't have to, to give a free answer. So some fact about the open data in Paris. We have uh, now uh, about 200 set of data. Uh, it's uh, five uh, million uh, data lines. So it might not seem to be so much, uh, but actually we are really working on the quality of our data. We don't want data with uh, a lot of errors and uh, it takes a, l a lot of time to really clean the data to be sure that uh, the data are good. And we have more than uh, 120,000 uh, downloads uh, on our website. Um, and something that we noticed, which is very interesting, is that the first user of the data uh, are, is the city itself. Uh, from one department to another department, people were not communicating. They were not sharing the data. And now, uh, from when you are in a department, you can see directly on the website the data of the other department. So we are the first user of our own data. Um, we could uh, count around uh, 50 uh, other uh, reuse of data uh, and these new services which are uh, delivered uh, by, uh, by startup or uh, new hats. Uh, and that's it. The platform to for the data. Maybe you can, maybe you can show it. Yeah. Right. Uh, the the platform for the for the data. Uh, we first set up. Uh, we just launched the first. Um, uh, we we first uh, launched a uh, first. Uh, the first platform, and um, very simple, but it was a base discussion with the community, uh, and and uh, after that we uh, we have uh, developed uh, a, a new uh, a new uh, new website where it was uh, more easy for the people and exactly the format they were wanting. So, for example, if you go check the data. On the uh, French uh, and for example, you want some information about the participatory budget. We put all the vote, all, all the online vote are uh, are open data, so you can see exactly each vote. Of course, it's anonymous, but you can see at what time, uh, what, what what were the vote, and uh, some uh, information about the the, the people who vote, like uh, the age or uh, where do they live. And um, and and we uh, we pay very attention also to uh, the um, the export. So we have a different format of export. There is CSV, uh, JSON, and Excel, uh, and it, 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 uh, that is the, the format uh, which are uh, which is requested uh, most of the time by the by the people. And uh, we had a discussion with. Uh, the, National uh, NDC, uh, NDC, NDC, the National Development Council, um, and uh, we could uh, see that we both have the, the same uh, format. Uh, 
but um, I actually think something that it's still new for us, and we really, we really have to put it into uh, people's mind uh, um, inside the administration. So really, it's a work in progress. Uh, we consider that we made a first take, but we can do better. And uh, I'm sure that that kind of exchange and uh, talking with uh, uh, other uh, other cities and um, and the people involved uh, in the, the data process uh, in the civil society can help us to, to do even more. Uh, we really don't think that um, on the political level, we really don't think that open data is bad or is just uh, a loss of time. Uh, we consider that uh, with data, we can create new service and uh, and some company company can be created and there's a lot of startups which are very interested uh, by uh, uh, by uh, our data. Uh, maybe just some uh, very uh, inform quick, uh, quick information. Uh, for example, the, the top uh, 10 of the downloads uh, of the data set. Uh, so the first, uh, the top one is uh, the first name given in Paris. So we have, we have all the statistics about the, the names uh, given in Paris for the, for the newborn. Uh, also, uh, you have a map of uh, the, the municipal facilities, the street names, the underground car park, the map of Paris is also on, uh, on open data, the list of uh, parks and gardens, uh, all the civil registrar statement, sidewalks, uh, and also the Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, which is a good transition to talk about uh, uh, the fact that in Paris we really want to help the people to be more connected and, uh, and be connected everywhere. So um, we are developing uh, a, a really uh, wide uh, uh, grid of uh, Wi-Fi hotspot uh, in the city. It's of course uh, free access, and, and uh, we are uh, we keep uh, putting more and more. And this is one one of the goal of the mayor uh, to uh, enlarge even more the, our grid of, uh, of uh, hotspot. Um, maybe just a very quick, quick few words about uh, different uh, different initiatives that we have to uh, to uh, develop the e-democracy, e-participation. So, for example, uh, we have a, we launch a platform which is a name Madame la Maire Jeanne uh, Miss Mayor I got my uh, and so we organize campaign and during seven days, or one month, or two months, it depends on uh, the topic, uh, people can give their ID. So for example, uh, currently, uh, there is uh, two campaigns uh, campaign which are open to the public. There's still five days for this campaign, and it is about uh, the complex uh, topic, about uh, administrative topics about how to build a political uh, Paris greater area. And also, we have a very interesting uh, debate currently about um, seven squares of Paris, uh, seven different places, seven different squares of Paris that we want to renew, renovate. And this is uh, the kind of, uh, of project that we can't do without uh, the citizens, because the citizens are the user, and finally, they are the expert uh, of, uh, of the public area. So during uh, during uh, 30 days uh, to, to give some ideas about how to develop, um, develop uh, the square and to renovate the square. So you can see that for the moment there is more than 200 uh, proposals, more than, more than 200 uh, suggestions. Um, so that's the uh, first thing I wanted to show. I also wanted to show quickly the, the website of the, um, of the participatory budget process. Uh, as you can see, you can download the, the communication kit uh, if uh, you want to uh, promote your project. Um, the, the, the list of the project of the district, the list uh, of the project for Paris, so for example, let's uh, watch. Uh, let's see quickly the, the project for Paris. Yeah. So, um, so, for example, the, the first project is uh, to renovate uh, fast of sites in, uh, in the, the high schools. In France, uh, when you learn physics and chemistry, we have a specific uh, dedicated room for that where you can do experiments. And, uh, and we have to admit that, that uh, some of them 
part of it old and uh, it will be nice to renovate them. At least it's an idea uh, from the version. So you can see that this project uh, is the project of uh, 3 million and 700,000 uh, euros to uh, renovate these rooms. Uh, another, another project. Uh, so that might be interesting also. Uh, in, uh, in Paris, we have an application which is very useful, which will in my street, dans la rue. And uh, this, is a, this is an application of course for And when you see something weird or not correct in the street, you can just localize the problem, take a picture, and let's see where it's. And so the administration can uh, take that into account. So, for example, if you see uh, somewhere that uh, there is a, a light bulb, uh, which, is a, which is broken, or in, there's a problem of the street light, so you can just take a picture, it will be maybe a bit dark, but uh, you take a picture, you just set up your uh, pin on the, on the map, and uh, you, let the, you let the know to the civil servant, and that way the administration is more efficient, uh, thanks to the, the help of the people. Uh, another project that maybe you, you might like uh, is uh, 3D, Paris in 3D uh, and open source. Uh, that would be a project where uh, we would make a 3D mapping of Paris and uh, so people could download it. And for example, if you want to develop the, a video game inside Paris where you have to follow somebody or to shoot somebody or to love somebody in Paris, uh, you, can, uh, you can develop uh, your, your game and at least there are all the old Paris will be already made for you. So this is uh, the website of the uh, participatory body. Uh, also, we try to be uh, active on uh, on Twitter and Facebook. So there is uh, the Twitter and Facebook of the city of Paris, and also the Twitter and Facebook of the mayor of Paris. Um, first, uh, the American mayor. Uh, she um, she has uh, on Twitter. Uh, 110,000 followers. Uh, it's uh, it's a growing growing up every day, and uh, she just has been uh, like two days ago, three days ago. She just has been um, recognized uh, as uh, the most influence influenced people uh, person uh, in France uh, with Twitter. So she her, her Twitter account has really an impact. Uh, the people who are following her are really following her, and uh, we could see that. Uh, during the, the last vote of the, of the participatory budget process, because each time that she was tweeting, everything come vote. Immediately after, there was a peak of voters uh, on the website. So, really, she has, a, she has an impact with her, with her account. Uh, of course, the same with Facebook. Then, about the city, we have another six. About about the city. <laughs> you didn't hear anything until now? <laughs> well? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it changed. Uh, so the, the Facebook of the city uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, followed by uh, 6.7 million people, so of course it's not only Parisian, because Paris has 2.2 million inhabitants, uh, but it's a good way to, to give some information to Parisian, but also to, uh, to share nice moments of Paris with a very large community. Uh, on Twitter we have uh, uh, 600,000 followers, um, and uh, it's also an uh, account which is very used uh, and the community manager of the city has a lot of work, believe me. Uh, we also want to uh, have a good dialogue uh, with uh, the people and through, uh, through the social media. So on, on the website of the city of Paris, you can ask a question directly. And uh, there, there is a team which is dedicated to that. So uh, instead of calling the city, you can just let an email. And normally in less than 20, in 48 hours, you will have an answer. And if you use um, the Twitter account made dedicated to that, uh, it's an account called uh, Paris I'm um, you should have a, an answer in less than 24 hours. So maybe just a, so this is the Twitter account of Paris. You can see that there's, there are some information. Uh, 
year, this is the uh, last picture of uh, because the 25th of, uh, of August was the uh, anniversary of the liberation of Paris. So you can see here that uh, 22 hours ago, uh, the city of Paris was promoting the, uh, the campaign to, to change the, the square of Paris. So you can see the, the Twitter account is quite active. On the website uh, of uh, the city of Paris, you can see here, Paris Echo, uh, you can see that the, quiz, the question that the people ask and uh, we share the question and the answers. Uh, it can be always useful. So, for example, that there was a person who was asking that she wants to uh, give her uh, carton box empty, but she doesn't know what to do. And so the answer is that you just have to bring them at a specific place. Um, this is uh, mainly the, the activities that, uh, that we have in order to establish a, a relationship uh, with a citizen. And of course, if you have any idea, they're more than welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.